Which brings us to Brockport, where the football team attempts to turn the page. It was moved across campus to its present place of honor at the entrance to the Brockport High School football field. The rock bears a plaque honoring the memory of former coach Greg Pelletier. He always maintained such a positive attitude and he was always the one that was thanking and being appreciative of all the things that he had and the people around him. And, and that was a great lesson that he taught the people that went through that with him about how to live a life uh, right up to the end. It was the most inspirational event of the 2011 high school football season. Greg Pelletier, battling cancer, coaching the Brockport Blue Devils to an undefeated regular season, claiming their first league title and winning a playoff game. Pelletier died in February at the age of 39, but his legacy lives on. Through his family, representing Greg upon his induction into the Frontier Field Walk of Fame last month. We feel very proud, very proud that so many people recognize um, what an impact he had on, on people in, in this area. I think it was amazing that he could just step up and coach when he was has can, had cancer and yeah, I think he's the, one of the best dads in the whole world. Brockport will dedicate the first home game of its season in Pelletier's honor, and later this year, Greg will be inducted into the school's Wall of Fame. His legacy on the football field lives, too, where Pelletier was succeeded by friend and longtime assistant coach Scott Nugent. The two came into the school district together 14 years ago. I struggle with trying to use it too much, do you know what I mean? And I don't want us to dwell on it. So turning the page really was just doing the same things, same things we've always done and um, just trying to stay on top of our game and try to keep our, our program up to the highest level that it can be. And it's something we've done all the time anyway, so really just to carry on all the stuff that, you know, that he was trying to do in the first place. They don't talk about Pelletier too much, but he's always there. And we have a picture of him in our locker room. He said, you know, fond memory of Greg Pelletier. We all walk by that as we go out every day, so he's always in our mind. We think about Pell and it just motivates us. We, we, we love the game. We love being out here. We love being around each other. It's always just it's energetic. It's a, it's a good vibe. Inspired? I think all of us are, even the kids that uh, weren't a part of it last year. And I mean, uh, we all obviously uh, loved him a lot. And I mean, he's in the back of our minds every day. I mean, we don't really talk about it, but it's something we all think about. Sadeski is now being coached by the man who replaced Pelletier on the staff, Dan Pincelli. There's closure there. In, in a quiet moment, and maybe even in a joking manner at times, did Greg, and when you and Greg would talk, whatever he said, you know, next year when this is your team, right. I mean, was that kind of a conversation ever held with you guys? Um, not, not until after. You know, not till after the season, you know, especially when I was thinking about who to replace them, you know, and, and I would consult with them all the time. And I'm like, hey, what about Danny Pincelli? You know, and, and he's he was at Spencerport, and we had all coached in the Eddie Meath team back in 05, I think it was, together. And uh, he's like, you know what? He'd be great. He was the, the first quarterback I ever coached as a coach, and now he'll be coaching the last quarterback I ever coached. Get loose, guys. Brockport opened its new season with a win over HFL. The page has been turned. Let's go. Delos on three. One, two, three. Delos. Right here, I think.